Yo, this is the Scar City Studios YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And our sponsors are Alpha Claims and Hire, Birmingham, the leading and best accident management company. Get a replacement car anywhere in one hour. North London, the Broadwater Farm Estate. Early in the morning, 12.45 a.m. on Thursday morning, a triple shooting occurred, a drive-by shooting on Willem Road. Police released a statement to say that it occurred at the Rochford car park in the Tottenham area just before 1 a.m. There was reports of gunshots and a car driving erratically from the scene where police say was the vehicle that the gunman, the police allege, made his escape in. Three teenagers were shot in this drive-by shooting and they were found close to the area with gunshot wounds. Three roads were actually taped off throughout the whole of the day. Met Police said a 19-year-old is in a critical condition and two 15-year-olds were seriously injured, one with potentially life-changing injuries. The police say that they're confident the gunman arrived and left in the same vehicle, but they have made no arrests as of yet with that case. All three of them were taken to hospital and the next of kin were informed. The police said that this was another appalling crime where three young men have been the victims of violence. The Metropolitan Police would leave no stone unturned to bring those to justice, they say. The North Area Commander Chief Superintendent Trina Fleming said, I fully understand how frightening this must be for the local community and how devastating for the family and friends of the victims. This comes just several weeks after a double shooting in Griffin Road, also in the Tottenham area. It happened at half past eight on Wednesday the 20th, where police received reports of gunshots, but there was no injuries. Armed officers attended the scene. No one was believed to be in where investigations were ongoing in the area. And we also covered this story on the channel as well. So go and check that video out to get the footage and more coverage on it. We'll definitely keep you updated on that story. But there's plenty of news going on in London and especially North London. In Enfield, police recovered 25 firearms on the 23rd of July, also on Thursday. Officers executed a warrant on Hadley Road and officers entered the address and two occupants, a man and a woman, aged 25 and 44, were arrested on suspicion of conspiracies to supply firearms. A search of the property uncovered the 25 guns, some of which were loaded. The firearms were mainly revolvers. A firearm workshop was located in the kitchen. So this was a factory in the middle of Enfield, producing guns in the areas of London that have got high gun crime. They included a bullet moulding press, they had bullet cases, bullet heads and other component parts. A scientist in the firearms forensic unit attended the scene along with crime scene officers. Both suspects remain in custody at this time. Detective Chief Inspector Neil Ballard said London is a safer place after the seizure of these weapons and ammunition. We suspect that we're going to be used in violence and shootings across London. We believe these firearms were obtained around the UK and the ammunition was manufactured at the address. The guns and ammunition were supplied across London to different gangs, they said. There has been an increase in pinfire revolvers found in London in recent months. So the police were using that as a priority to tackle that. They had an idea that somebody was producing a lot of firearms. Another incident that occurred, an update into the PC Harper murder. I covered this story again last week where there was on trial. These three people have been jailed for manslaughter. But on the 22nd of July in North London, also in Enfield, a police officer was dragged 40 feet on the Southgate Road. The Territorial Support Group officer approached the car at 9.45am on J Wednesday when he became suspicious of the occupants. Suddenly the car was driven towards him and the officer was dragged along the road. According to a spokesman for the police, the officer was dragged along by the car, the soles of his shoes torn off in the struggle which he was finally able to free himself. He only suffered minor injuries and the officers are now searching for the car and on suspicion of attempted grievous bodily harm. So violence against police officers has definitely been on an increase in the past few years. This is proven again in a recent story that I didn't get a chance to cover. It was a disqualified driver in Essex who has been jailed for 16 months. 27 year old 
Shuan Udin was jailed at Thames Magistrates Court on Friday the 17th of April for criminal damage, driving without a licence and dangerous driving. When he appeared at Snaresbrook Crown Court on the 3rd of July, Udin was sentenced to 16 months in prison. He was also banned from driving for four years and 11 months. The court heard that how on the 15th of April, at quarter to 10, officers were on patrol in the East India Dock Road when a Mercedes A-Class was being driven by Udin. Flagged up as being linked to an individual known for gang activity, officers signalled for Udin to stop, but he failed to do so and attempted to make off. Several attempts of tactical contact were made by police officers to try to bring the Mercedes to a stop, but Udin rammed past police vehicles on several occasions. Officers eventually managed to stop the Mercedes and they boxed it in against a, a central reservation off the M11. However, Udin continued to try and evade police officers and they were forced to discharge a taser to stop him and his dangerous driving. Udin damaged a total of four police vehicles during the pursuit. He also damaged another car belonging to a member of the public. One officer was injured, although he only suffered minor injuries and did not require hospital treatment. The period of driving lasted a total of 20 minutes and was brought to a close on junction of 4 and 6 on the M11 in Essex. Udin was later found guilty of disqualified driving and subject to a court order banning him from being in the front seat of a vehicle. They said that he was intent on evading arrest and also would have injured a police officer if the situation arose. Showing again the levels of violence being demonstrated towards police every day on the streets. So when we see examples of police brutality, we do have to also balance it out with the threat to life that they do face. So I really appreciate you joining me for this update and I've got loads of news to come today. So make sure you turn on your bell for notifications and I appreciate you joining me for every premiere. I'll be back again very soon. Please don't forget to subscribe. Peace.